It's Red Carpet Diary at the Toronto International Film Festival. Midnight's Children is Deepa Mehta's long-awaited adaptation of the Salman Rushdie novel. Satya Baba stars as Salim, the illegitimate child of a street singer who was switched at birth. When did you first hear about this story? Well, I first read this book when I was a young kid. I was probably about 10 years old. It's been a very important book in my in my family, and it was recommended to me nonstop by my parents, and I finally said, okay, fine, I'll read it. Did you ever think, I want to be Salim? Never thought that. I really didn't. And even when I first met with Deepa, I kind of had heard whisperings that she was making this movie and always just assumed, you know, I'm probably not indie enough for this part. Then, when it started to become a bit of a reality, I was like, oh my goodness, pinch me, pinch me. I, Salim Sinai, mysteriously handcuffed to history, my destiny forever chained to my country's. Treat things in store for you, my son. Satya, let's talk about casting. You're a young man, and in this film, you have someone playing you as a baby, as a child, as a mm -hmm. teen, and then you step in as an adult. How did you think the casting went? Do you look at those people and think, wow, that really looked like me? Babies look like babies, so so that's, you kind of got a carte blanche with that. But I think that um, Darshil and I actually, it seems like it works really well, and at least the responses that I've been getting, um, the switch between him and me feels natural and sort of seamless, um, also aided by the by the prosthetic nose, I suppose. Right. So let's talk about the prosthetic nose. Yes. And not only is it prominent on your face in the film, but it's prominent in the storyline. Mm -hmm. How is it important? The nose is this interesting sort of family heirloom that's passed down from generation to generation. Even though this isn't genetically the child of this, or the grandchild of this man who has this famously large nose. As soon as he's born, his, or as soon as his mother sees him as a baby, she says, oh, he's got his granddad's nose. This whole story really asks a big question of sort of nature versus nurture. You know, are you born who you are? Or if you grow up in a different situation or a different circumstance, does that define you? Come back to me. I love you. So let's talk about the relationship between the three main characters. Uh, it, it's a bit of a struggle at times in the film. Absolutely. When Salim first starts hearing voices, um, you know, it's presented so beautifully and performed so well by Darshil that you almost forget that, wait a second, this could all just be in his head. Like. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of accept it as fact, but let's not forget that he's just found out that his mother's essentially having an affair. He comes home feeling abandoned, and magically he finds a thousand brand new friends in his head. I mean, there's a pot potential there that this is really a fabrication of a child's imagination, a lonely kid's imagination. In the Visa Spotlight studio, I've been speaking with Satya Baba from Midnight's Children. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks very much.